Listen to that majestic chant from Wales for London. <laughs> A howl to send fear through the hearts of their enemies. Oh, marvellous. Hello. Shall we introduce ourselves? Uh, might as well, why not? My name's James, I play for Manchester. Who are you? My name's Ben, I play for the Wales of London Firsts, not to be mistaken for the Wales of London Seconds who are currently playing. Or Wolves if we're into the whole brevity thing. We're not into the whole brevity thing, they're Wales of London Seconds. Please everyone have respect. <laughs> now we have an interesting combination of the old versus the new. Tornadoes, a community team that's been around for a long time. Wales of London Seconds on their debut season. We have players who've been around for a long time, like Mr. Thomas Dutton of Bangor Broken Broomsticks fame and glory. Um, been playing for more or less seven years. And we have, um, who's a really new player on the Wales London Seconds? You know what? Not, none that haven't been playing. Morgan. Um, in fact, I've passed back to James to uh, the Morgan. Yes, Morgan of Manchester Stock. Good old Manchester Stock. Yeah, he's turned traitor and joined the Werewolves of London Second. He's come over to the side of light friendship and as much food as we can give him. Oh, yeah. Morgan will eat all the food every time. <laughs> yeah, he's, this is his second season, right? Uh, I think so. I'm not sure. I've only met him a few times. <laughs> he, he left Manchester just <laughs> before <laughs> I joined. <laughs> so Ben, <laughs> while well, you're recovering there, in your totally unbiased opinion, who do you reckon is going to win? I think it will be close, to be honest. Uh, I think Wolves of London Seconds are going to edge it, but I think it will be a, good, a really good game. I would say I have to agree. Like, you know, Tornadoes, I've, you know, got some good players, but Wolves, they're training with the Wolves first, so that's got to rub off. And many of them have played for the Wolves first previously. See Patrick, Callum, Rosie. That's a great pickup from Kevin. Is he going to score right off the bat? It's a lovely step. Yes, he is. Oh, there That's we go. The finish from Kevin Lou. <laughs> a cheeky little celebration. He's got some quick feet on him, that boy. He has some quick feet on him, that boy. Now, the first structured attack from Tornadoes. Number 19 of the ball. Slow switch from number 24. I'm afraid I don't know the names. Apologies, viewers. Rosie Eamon marking. Pass goes off to zero. That's Chaz Hawkins. Great shoving from Patrick. Does it go? She'll go off pitch. No, but it goes to Kevin. Apologies. Does the day go off pitch? We'll be better at that. Kevin Liu on the attack again with his quick feet. Lovely ball to Marie. Mr. Beat there. Lovely spin from Marie. Shift. There we go, got it. This. Oh no, blocked it. Oh, oh no. Okay. Just didn't quite have the support there, Marie Combs, but she was a nice take. She's an up and coming. Oh, shouldn't have let that go. Right, we have control. We have control. Phil, Sam, and Sam Instone, the dynamic ex Reading duo with bludge control. Thomas Dustin on the ball. Passes to Hawkins. Kevin, Kevin, you got Here comes Kevin. Back to the keeper. Good comms between Patrick Gray and Kevin Liu. They know exactly where, who they're marking, where the ball is, where the beaters are. Is Phil Sam going to throw it or is he going to do the classic Phil Sam fake? Here comes Marie and she's been beaten. Well done Marie. Good um, recovery of the quaffle. It doesn't look like Tornadoes are attacking with a huge amount of fluency. The passing is good and going to hand, yeah. but there's no penetration. See, like Manchester, we played Tornadoes at Northern, and for a lot of it, well, we weren't playing very well, but we were just able to outpace them a lot. I think we can probably see a bit of that here today as well. Potentially. Wales in under seconds do have some very PC players. Yeah. Rosie Inman with the lovely cut. Oh, and a nice perfect block. pass. Oh, oh, and she just misses it. But it was a lovely ball for Patrick Gray to Rosie Inman. A lovely oh. cut from Rosie Inman. Oh, and was... Thomas Dutton on the fast break. Great tackle, Kevin Liu. But Thomas Dutton is up. And a great pass out to Hawkins. Rosie Inman with the kick, but she misses. Back to the keeper, Rosie Van Beat. Has Kevin Van Beat? Kevin Van Beat. Yeah. And, and here of... comes um, oh, Marie on the keeper. And the keeper's Van Beat. Pass to Hawkins. Patrick Gray on the attack. Oh, on the, on the attacking defence. Yeah. Patrick's been beaten. Oh, is that Margaret? 
uh, where was a, he was beaten four, but ball still with tornadoes on the far side of the pitch. Ball with Thomas Dutton. Is Thomas Dutton going to make a sneaky play down the left wing? He doesn't have much support. He's got In fact, he has no pressure, support. Got the feet of pressure. All of his, he is the furthest option? forward of all of his <laughs> chases. But look at him go. He just never stops. Oh, but he does now. I don't know why. He was... Oh! 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 Gemma oh, clearing nearly, up! Nearly that's nearly banger nearly. beating for you. Oh, oh Patrick outpaces her! Oh! Oh! <laughs> Patrick Gray smashing through the opposition. He's going Wait, for it, he's going for it. Has he got it? Has he got the shots on? Oh, oh. shots not on! Well, Rose Yeoman is there. Marie Kem's yeah. offering support. Uh, Rose has no uh, budget. Oh, no, there's a budget. Marie, where are you going to go? Just yeah, good. Well, um, Michal. We got Mi Michal is the newest person. He has just started Quidditch this year. Watch the boy play. He is a monster, a majestic, majestic monster who oh, missed. Oh no! I picked you up, Michal. Oh, I picked you up. Outside. But look at him holding his broom as he runs back. He's like a oh, still with my beautiful soldier. Yelling at him to shoot. Is the shot on? Oh, oh Patrick Gray with a strong drive to finish. That is a goal to the Wolves in under seconds. Is that the first goal? Uh, no, 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 because that was their quick one. Wasn't oh, yeah, it? of course it was. Apologies. <laughs> That's the second goal. No, I think it's I think it's a third now. I don't think they've changed it yet. No, no, it's just two. Huh? The score is 20-0. Great <laughs> play, Werewolves. Keep it up. <laughs> Some great support from the crowd there. Absolutely. Set out your commentator shoes for a sec. Beat is really nice and high. Oh, Danger oh no! On the left. One for one. Sam. But Eamon's that got the bludgeon nice. now. He's coming. Oh, That's didn't a nice he block it? For tornadoes and they suddenly got a lane. Oh, oh. that was Tornado's Rocks. best attack so far. Bludger I think here. the pop-up. Bludger here. Anyone see it? The pop-off to Thomas Dutton would have been the right option there. Here comes Alex Marks on the pitch, formerly of Exeter and Sheffield. Number 80, now with the ball. Exciting, dynamic player. What can he do today? Tornadoes with control, making their presence yeah, felt. Patrick driving, but encounters bludgers. Uh -huh. Oh, um, he's going again. Oh, double here beat. We go, Alex Marks. The ball. That, that, is a, that is a lovely oh! ball, Alex Marks. No goal called. No goal called. Beat before, was it? Oh, and Thomas Dutton on the counter. Thomas Dutton on the counter. Oh, he's through. He's, he's through. Oh, he's got that. Thomas there Dutton. T Dutt still got it. <laughs> Alex cracking pass, mate. The crowd praising Alex Marks for that wonderful pass to Mikhail. Unfortunately, not finished by the Wolves in the seconds. Yeah. How's it you see that? Mikhail? Or... Yeah, Mikhail. Or Mikhail. Mike, I think. He's right. fine. <laughs> Mike. Yeah, yeah. Alex Marks on the ball again. Here oh, he goes. Oh, oh, oh. There's a bludger just lying around there. Is it and Michal on the ball. Michal! <laughs> oh, you know, was fine. that a bounce? Safe. I you thought it was a bounce. Michal. That was a... Oh. The man is still learning the rules. I mean, if nothing else, he's an honest player. Strong vocals from the Tornado Trooper. She wants her team to talk. <laughs> oh. Oh. We have another Quidditch veteran, Nicole Stone, now on the quaffle. Uh, Charlie Taylor dodged. Here goes Nicole Stone, up the right. Oh. Pass to Emily Hayes, just gone a bit long, but still in play. Long but now wide. Emily Hayes taken As out off. by Michal. Yep. Great defense. Uh, yep, thank you. Michal on the ball, now Charlie Taylor on the ball, formerly Southampton, formerly president of Southampton Quidditch Club. Charlie Taylor, now of Wales. Werewolves um, adopting their square formation with Michal on the left wing, Sophie Osborne on the right, formerly of Leicester. Yeah. Tornado still have control though, and they've Alex been doing Mark. very well. Well, that is defense. a high tackle oh, from Nicole was. Stone that the referee is not calling. Go, go, go. Sophie, oh! oh. <laughs> yes, Sophie! Yes, Sophie! Yes. There we go! Sophie Osborne folded at first, spent down, picked it up, and raced it through the middle. Miss me, gave it to her. Didn't miss that one. Eamon oh. making up for his mistakes. Here comes the keeper, Michal! Oh! And, oh, I thought Someone that, I thought he hit his own okay. fire. And here goes Alex Marks on the ball. Scuffle for Pass the Pass the charge over there. Okay, now number 15. This is his first game of competitive Quidditch. Number 15 for Tornadoes. Uh, Matt 
something. That's stone. Oh, go on, go on, Alex. Oh, fine, Alex. Just me. Yes, you got it. I thought he was beat on the back. Oh, it's still on. Me help, me help, me help. There we go. Matt's That's a, the beat. Matt's a big boy, but he needs to put in those tackles. I know he's got that ability. But let's give him some time. It is his first game of Quidditch. That's number 15 for Tornadoes. Tornadoes beat is saving the defense is that again. Claudio on in number two. I don't know. In front of us. I think it is. I'm a very new player. Another, I don't know many people. Another Quidditch veteran, number two in front of us. He just has different hair. I once got a red card for tackling as a helpless receiver. So I'm that's my history with Claudio. But he's a lovely, <laughs> lovely man. It was unintentional on my part. Oh, yeah. And he's rapping oh. as well. Did you see that pace to the claim oh, 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 Here he goes. Fake Charlie, you've got to step up, my boy. Boom! Oh, we, that's what we like! Oh. That's what oh, we oh, like, Claudio! Woo! What a game! Big Go Matt Stone Drive us on again, drive us on again. Michal is going to take him. Oh, is he no. going to score in his first Go, competitive no, no, no. game? Come on, Is come it going to happen? Nearly there, nearly No, oh, it's not! In the face. Great clutch to face for defence from the Werewolves of London Seconds. I can't say my words, that was great clutch defence from the Werewolves of London Seconds. I mean, you may not have got it, but what a way to make your presence felt in your first game. It's very true, James. Oh, it's the Reading combo again, the titanic beating duo of Phil Sam and Sam Instone. Sam, able to break through the Tornado's beaters, who've been doing some sterling work so far. Phil Sam guarding the quaffle from Eamon, who is pincering, <laughs> or whatever it is, beaters do waving. <laughs> some sort of move. <laughs> who even knows? I need to study the play. Got the quaffle carrier. Great oh, hit, Sophie oh, Osborne! Oh, I love that! Oh, I love that! So we need to take Claudio. Tornado is suddenly looking so much more threatening oh, on attack now that Claudio is on the pitch. Again. Showing his experience, his physicality, his pace. Ball back to the keeper. Switch to number 24. Yep. Back to Claudio. Yep. It's oh, nice oh, passing oh, from Tornadoes. Oh, nice. Michal on the Wait. ball, but Claudio contact. spins out of contacts. So if you're to get there. Oh, Matt was beat. Ball back with Werewolves on the keeper. Score is 30 10. It's still a swim game. Not a high scoring game, what's the time now? And we have got Morgan on the pitch! That's my Morgan! Yes! Come on! For Manchester, my boy! Morgan Ward, number 19. Oh, well. Yeah, I'm totally unbiased as well. And Lydia Calder on the pitch! Lydia Calder on the pitch, despite having run a half marathon yesterday and claiming she wasn't going to play on day one, Lydia Calder is on the pitch as keeper for Wales with 100 seconds. Damn, she's got some legs. <laughs> Damn, she's got some legs! <laughs> Come on, Morgan! Come on, Morgan! Oh! Oh! <laughs> nearly there! Next time! Lydia stepping, Claudio. Phil Sound coming to her aid. Here we go, Lids. Lovely ball to Michal. That's how we play the square. Yeah, yeah. Ball back to yeah. Lydia! Oh, just no. beat before she can beat score. Before. Oh, oh, still on, still on. The oh, no. Oh, it's Morgan. No. Oh, and another ex-Manchester player, Daniel Campbell, coming on as a beater for Tornadoes. So it's Manchester and Manchester. Oh, yeah. Tom Dutton escaping down the right-hand side. Time. Matt on the ball. 11 to 13. Well, we'll see who's scoring another goal to put this game to bed. Do they do it before Snitch comes on? Michal with a big tackle on Matt. First beat for Dan. Oh, no, he's brushed off. Oh, that kick beat. What a beat. Yes. Someone's going to go get that ball before Tom Dutton does. Dan misses. Oh, no. Oh. Here goes Michal! No, not just Michal! Go on! Michal! Oh, pass it! Oh, no! Yes, oh, the score! Oh, that was close. Woo! Yeah. Woo! So it's not raining, but the ground Great is very pass, wet. So, so the quaffle's a bit slippery. For any Polish listeners, I'm probably butchering Michal's name. I apologise for that. Do have a crack at it's such a name? great name to shout. Oh, no, I don't. Um, <laughs> what is it? It's, it's actually, it's Kreft, I think. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, nice simple one. Yeah. Score is 40-10. Overtime range. Tornadoes and Wales on seconds. Both of female keepers on the pitch. Good to see. Yes. Oh, down with another beat. Tornadoes great still. pass off to Thomas Dutton. Oh, good defensive pressure, though. 
ball over the top to Nicholas Stone, Ooh. who has the ball, Rosie Inman, beat oh. and tackled. Lovely defensive combo from Wales on seconds, the bench like it, the crowd like it. Lydia Calder on the ball. She didn't have much support that <laughs> Lydia Calder seems Morgan to her right, Kevin to her left and Rosie to her right as well. Morgan Ward, always an option. Always. Yeah, but Thomas Dutton's been beat, so Lily's now got the option. Kevin Luke cuts the in from the left. Rosie's yep. still free. Ball goes to Morgan. Yep. Go, go. Go on, Morgan. Driver's on. Driver's on. Driver's on. Morgan goes. No, oh, no. Come on, Morgan. Oh, no. Great beat there from the tornado beater. A defence breaks down. Oh, no. Oh, oh, Rosie oh. and then Rose. Oh, and then a face beat, which is clearly hurt. Eamon with no mercy. Oh my Lord. Yes, Rosie Inman! Oh, she's got a wax to the face! Oh, dear, oh Rosie Inman spewing claret all over the ground! Oh, is that first blood of the day? Yeah. <laughs> yes, Rosie! Yeah, what a mighty effort! I thought you slipped away, but then no. Nope. It wasn't even me this time! I headbutted Rosie at Southern Cup last year. She had blood pouring from her face. I, no one can say it was me this time. It was definitely either Thomas Dutton. I was always a banker player. That's what it is. I mean, the day is still young, Ben. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to go and punch Rosie there. <laughs> I mean, that. Yeah, cut that bit out. <laughs> it was a great tackle. It was a great tackle. We got it all on camera. So. Oh, right. Oh, sorry. Handing me the mic. Ben's going over, making sure she's okay. I mean, she was smiling as she came off. How's she doing? Can you bring this? Rosie? <laughs> <laughs> Rosie has nothing to say. <laughs> Good stuff, Rosie. Nicole Stone on the right. Go on, Morgan. Go on, Morgan. That's a wonderful tackle. But Nicole holds onto the ball because she's a tough cookie. <laughs> Lovely bit of sarcasm. And, and it's true. Like she was right on. Oh! Thomas Dutton on the ball, Thomas Dutton stepping, Thomas oh, Dutton shooting! Up, no. No, no passing! Oh. What another hit by Morgan! Morgan putting himself about today, Lily oh, Calder Oh on the no, ball. Morgan! Morgan's coming off too soon! Right, yeah, made an impact, didn't he? And Patrick Gray, style man as we like to call him, in fact, as he likes to call himself. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> Understandably, the man has serious style. Rika Biazzi on the pitch, one of the UK's longest serving Quidditch players. One DQC of Chimeras before. Oh. oh no, good catch from Dan there. Oh, no, oh yes, he Lid. In fact, Lydia Calder and Rika Biazzi, two members of the world's London team, on point again. have oh, got no BQC bludges. gold medals. No bludges, man. Great tackle, Kevin. The Wolves of London seconds defence is Stella. Stella. Here comes Callum with the beat. Boom! And again! Yes, Callum! Starman on the ball. I mean, there were no bludges there for like a good 10 Ni -ho, seconds. back on the pitch! Like, you know it's going to do anything with it. Apologies, I'm interrupting my co commentator Sorry, go on. Oh, as soon as like Mikhail comes on, it's just like very enthusiastic. The crowd loves him. He's a crowd pleaser. <laughs> Lydia Calder on the ball, stepping her opposite number, passing to Marie. Lovely Marie. Brilliant ball to Michal, who passes it back. Patrick Gray is going to get beat if he touches that ball. Yeah. Yeah. Rick in! Oh, Lovely so Marie! Woo! Watch out! Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Oh. Oh, go on, no bludges, no bludges, go, go, go! There yes! you go! Marie, that is you, Marie! Woo! That was going to need seekers in a little bit. That was you! It's almost now, so we need seekers soon. Josh Armitage has our snitch today. And a lovely knitted jumper. Yes, absolutely. Elkins on the ball. Hey Josh, you're going to do better than Cotton. Tornado <laughs> just starting to lose sight of this game. It's been a score now and it's back in range. It's the most important part of the game so far. So Josh snitching at Cottonopolis got caught one second, less than a second before the Patrick first handicap. He was fence. devastated. Oh! oh. I thought that was Are they true. calling it in? Yes. What a shot from Thomas Dutton. The game is back on. Is that, is that back to overtime range? Time is 16 minutes and 25 seconds. Oh, yes. Yeah, it is. Overtime score is 50 20. Range. Oh, Kevin. Kevin's a seeker for werewolves. 
Nicole Stone, seeker for tornadoes. Lady Calder on the ball, Sam Hinstone cleaning up, Patrick Gray on the ball. Back to Lady Calder, nice passing, move the defence around, lovely right footed step oh, from Calder. Back to, to Gray. Oh, still, still on the left. left. Yes. Here he goes, the Michal. Lovely two hand catch, we taught him that. Back to Patrick <laughs> Gray. <laughs> I mean, the beta was subbing off while the drive was still on. Like, that is bad tactical play. Absolutely. So that was with Wells back in control. So, Raptors 1.5. <laughs> that is Simon Senior celebrating that Bears are currently 30-20 up against Megalodons. Really? Oh, well, that's a turn up. But we will see. They're going to keep we that up. See. Obviously, we've got the, the rematch of Megs and Liverpool. Sure What's that happened yet? Yeah, I already got a great great bit of you taking photographs of the <laughs> You look really I good. The back of your head. Like the, so game, the game, the game, the game slowly pans, closes in the photographer. <laughs> That's what we want. That's the content I like. We have a break in play for some reason. Broken hoop, maybe? I don't really know. Who got, got smash? Okay. Oh yeah, it's a bit of plastic on the table. <laughs> God damn it, Mikhail! <laughs> I, so my um, very limited analysis of this game yes. is that when Claudio was on the pitch, yep. tornadoes looked dangerous. Yep. Um, well, having said that, Thomas Dalton has scored both their goals. Yeah, he has. So. But I don't think that's rarely on the pitch together. And maybe that would be the way that Tornado City really brings back, is if you have a Claudio Dutton combination. They feel maybe they fulfill similar roles and that they want to have them to each other, but I think when you know when you're at BQC mm -hmm. and you know it's a game you could win, I think you've got to pull out the stops. Yeah. On like the beta side of things, Tornadoes have had control for most of the game and it's not a high scoring game. They've They've been very good on, a lot of times on defense. Um, yes, yeah, so clutch defense for Tornadoes, absolutely. Like without them, Wells really should have a lot more goals on the score. I think Hawkins, Hayes, and Stone have all looked good for all looked good for Tornadoes as well. So yeah, just patching some passes together, and they could easily be back in this game. Mm -hmm. And there seems to be a Sam Davis on pitch for some reason. <laughs> Sam Davis always has a reason, <laughs> we've learned this. Even if it's only known to himself. Yeah. Big <laughs> time. Paul's Livia grinning at that. Yeah, that was... Grinning at the violence, she loves violence. <laughs> Score is 60-20, we're currently having a break in play because a hoop is broken. To pass the time, out of these two teams, who do you think is going to fare better against Raptors? I'm going to be honest. Yes. I think that neither are going to score. Really? No score I, th I think there's a, there's a chance that Wales and London seconds could score a goal. I don't think, based on what you've seen, I don't think, unless Tom Sutton gets a fast break, I don't think there's a chance that Tornado will score. Always a chance, you can always catch Raptors snapper. It does happen. And Tom Sutton is fast, but you know, in the same way that maybe Kevin Lee could score on a fast break. May oh, no, no, maybe if they leave, um, if they, they may not have played against Michal before. He's very <laughs> dangerous behind the hoops. If they leave him free, he could catch and put it in. Or if they don't, Wales and London Seconds have some very strong female players um, around the hoops, Sophie Osborne and Marie Kams. So if they leave them open, then there's a chance Wales and London could, could put one through. And if Morgan can get the accuracy on the shooting as well. He's had a couple of brushes with the hoops. I, I, uh, Tornadoes, Wales and London Seconds, prove me wrong, please. But um, <laughs> yeah, I think Raptors are looking very, very strong. At the moment, everything seems quite smooth. Or if it's not. So they're hiding it well. <laughs> <laughs> well, hoops back up. Looks like we're going to start. Are we going to resume play? No, no one's on the pitch. Uh, the Werewolves of London having a gathering, so a tornadoes. We briefly saw tornadoes coach and ex Team UK coach Emily Otterbridge 
formerly of Bang & Broken Broomsticks. Um, the first ever tournament in the UK was Highlander Cup in 2012, where Emily Autobridge captained Banger, and then there was Chimeras, or they, they were only called Oxford in those days, there weren't two teams. There was St Andrews, there was Edinburgh, there was Keele, and there was Reading, and those were the six teams in the UK. Uh, I actually think Leicester existed, just weren't there. Yeah, just six teams in the UK. Yeah, yeah. Huh? Uh, it was a long time ago. <laughs> I saw, I saw where that. I'm learning. Leicester, maybe Leeds existed? Leicester were the bad boys in those days. The bad, the bad people, the bad persons. Ah, oh, they're my next game. I think times have changed slightly. Oh. And you guys, as a. Ah, uh, Shane, yeah. I want a bit of this crap. I, I, I live Who did Leicester have a rivalry with? Was it? There's the famous Banger Keel rivalry that will go down in the echelons of Quidditch. But. Um, and the famous Southampton Chimeras rivalry, but both Keel Banger Chimeras and Southampton are heavily represented in the Wales of London club, so they're all playing on the same team now, guys. But who did Leicester hate in the day? There was there was a team. I'm going to have to ask, ask some of the Leicester guys about this. This is great. I'm, I'm learning a lot. There aren't really any good rivalries in Quidditch these days. No, there's like, some, there's some ag amongst the top three. Werewolves, Raptors, LQC. There's always a bit of niggle. Very competitive players, all of them. But there's no like, you know, kind of uh, real tribal um, rivalries like they used to. Yeah. Yeah. Manchester, like, right we're going for Liverpool a bit at the moment. Um, oh, uh, rivalry correspondent. <laughs> <laughs> well, basically at Northern, um, it, we were. It was our game was the fifth, sixth playoff, and fifth place got through to EQT, and uh, Liverpool won that game. Absolutely, they did. Um, their their beaters were just they were, they were fantastic. Um, like really shut off the game in a lot of ways, and uh, we didn't have a, like a response for it. Uh, so Liverpool got through to EQT, where they then managed to scrape through to EQC, where it was a bit saucy there. And Liverpool have got a bit of ag with Megs, definitely. Um, I think on the footage I saw a bit of uh, shouting of "You dirty cheat!" So, uh, oh, blimey! And of course, we're forgetting the uh, the Sheffield Raptors yeah. rivalry. <laughs> well, if you can call it that. Um, yeah, there's um, there's talk of Raptors lining up against an empty pitch. Um, Posing for a photo with yep. caption. Yep. Still. Uh, yeah, if we can get, if we can get one. Well, I'll make it. Uh, yeah. I mean, look, we've got a couple of Sheffield play players staying with us, and um, uh, we're friends with some of them. It's it's a case of a lot of players like wanted to play, and they're going. We have to come. We have to play. Otherwise, we're just going to be seen as a joke. But it's like a few people who, unfortunately, are the decision makers who just push it and push it, push it, going. No, no, this is going to be bad. Raptors are out to hurt us, which they're not. Like. Um, so that was the deciding factor to them not coming? Uh, well, it, it's, it's all conjecture, it's all... Uh, okay, so this is interesting, the party line from Sheffield is that they're not coming because they don't have enough players, whereas we're hearing on the uh, through the grapevine that in fact Sheffield are not coming out of fear, which is maybe something that the, um, the Quidditch media need to get a hold of. Well, I mean, if there's some people going, we're playing Raptors again, they're going to be going hard on us, and that like dissuaded a few people, then, and all of a sudden they don't have enough players, but it's, who am I to say? Interesting and controversial. And the players are back on pitch. Wanted to play, and it is a real shame for them. RIP Sheffield. They're not dead yet. Hopefully they'll come back. RIP Reading Rocks. Uh, <laughs> RIP Falmouth. Uh, now I've made myself sad. We need some exciting Quidditch to live in this. Yes. Let's go. My co-commentator is excited. And we're jumping back into this game right at the most exciting point. Seekers lining up. Josh Armitage is the snitch. MB Lakin is the snitch ref. Seems the hoop was fixed with a lot of duct tape. They see her rolling. They quaking. Look, it's the snitch ref. Emily Lakin. That was her, that was her banger chant. <laughs> Lovely intercept there from Michal to Lid. Lid one with the right foot, left foot is step. Pass to oh, oh, oh. can't do that easily. But what is her score? Oh, tornado's gunning for the budgers. 
No, no, not to reset. There we go. No bludges, no bludges. It's on, it's on. Come on. Where's the passing options? There, to Mikhail. Watch for the hoop. Oh wait, no, Mikhail is the blue sleeves, right? Mikhail is the blue sleeves? Oh. Mikhael is blue sleeves, right. Patrick Gray, Stan Patrick, Ryan is right. black sleeves. Sam Insto now on Snitch. Can the Lumos have some very quickly? So Josh, Armitage, Snitching. It's 70-20, so Nick Oldstone defensive seeking, as you can see. So is it going to be a repeat of Cartonopolis, where Josh was caught less than a second before first handicap, or will it be a repeat of Northern, where he lasted the full 45? We have a Josh Armitage snitching specialist here. He was gunning for another 45 minutes at Cottonopolis and then was devastated when he didn't just missed out on first handicap by a whisker. It's no, there's, there's one bludger there though. Yep. Calder on the ball. Calder steps past Matt. Oh, but the ball goes to Thomas Dutton. I mean, to stand by what I said, damn, she's got some legs. She's definitely quick one. My co commentator likes Lydia Calder. <laughs> Just the legs. She's also a lovely person. I'm going to throw that out there. Well, I've never met her yet, so I don't know. Thomas Dutton on the ball. Oh, Patrick Gray with a lovely, lovely block. Is that beat hit? No. The, yes, the beat was hit. So Patrick Gray now on the ball. Is Patrick going to put it in? He is. There we go, Patrick Gray. Score is 80 20. Well, one second's running away for this for the first time in the game, really. Yep. Great beating from Phil Sam and Rico Biazzi. Really defensively tight and then using the bludgeon offense as well. So the score is now 80 20. Samuel Instone still going really hard at that snitch, but he's been beaten. Gemma Gedling for Tornadoes. Not just Gedling, sorry, apologies. Gemma Stone. <laughs> Tornado still going for the win, though. Oh, oh no, no, no fumble. fumble! It is a slippery ball, Matt, don't worry. Uh. Was that a back tackle? It's not been called. Charlie Taylor had the sort of uh, stalking his prey like a wolf. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, casual! So casual! Quick enough. <laughs> Fumble again! Matt cannot hold this ball. Oh yes, Patrick! Star man on the ball! Woohoo! Lydia scrapping for the ball. Hawkins, Marino on the ball. Oh, Phil Sam slipping in! Rika Biazzi with the miss beat! Mihal on the ball! No, not two hands, Mihal, Mihal, no! Mihal is on the rules! Ben, Ben of Virtualize. I can't watch. Naughty Mihal! It's the yellow! Oh, Michal. <laughs> Long live the king. <laughs> Not a laughter from the Welsh, though, so he doesn't seem that too worried. We love him. <laughs> Woo! Michal, come here, come here, come here. Michal, anything to say? Uh, I, I think I really enjoyed that sprint for the ball. <laughs> Some strong words from Michal. Just wanted a hug. Yeah. Ball, oh, Thomas Dutton. Ball back to Matt. Who, oh goodness, I mean, it's his first time holding a quaffle, so. <clears throat> oh, lovely dodge from Biazzi. Oh, Patrick, what a ball from Patrick. Here goes Calder, Calder running on the bitch. There we go. Yes. Yes. The seconds have had some stiff competitions over this season, playing in the top tournaments against the top teams. It's nice for them to be able to let them, like, let loose, let loose a bit. Absolutely. Yeah. Show that they're actually a cracking team. Charlie Taylor's still circling like a hungry shark. Hungry wolf, surely. Shark circle. I suppose wolf circle. What else circles? Okay, what? Circling. Oh, he's now running back like a fleeing rabbit. Yeah, but you're the but now approaching again seconds. like a circling crocodile. Okay. The crocodile circle? Nature enthusiasts get in touch. Boom! Patrick Gray bringing the pain! 
But Tornado's oh. Beta cleaning up. Very nice play. Morgan! Go Morgan! Go Morgan! Morgan's in beat. Piazzi coming in with the beat. And. Oh! Oh, oh. oh. oh Michal! Go, 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 go. Woo! Oh! oh. Spring Heels Top leap. Beat there. Here comes Calder. Oh. What a dodge! What a dodge, Calder! Good dodge. Oh, here she goes! She's got Morgan! She's got Morgan! She does indeed, Morgan! Oh, it's a high tackle from behind! It's a high tackle from behind! She's called a bad, she's called. Oh, and Monique is called. Are we not? Are we not? Are we not going back for that? No, no, we're not. Okay. Monique, come on, call it! <laughs> yeah, Monique, go on, assistant ref, let's um, let's, let's use the refereeing calls. No, no, okay. <laughs> the outrageously illegal tackle is fine. Maybe I'm slightly biased. I don't know. <laughs> Tornado's back with control. Lily Caller doesn't mind. She's back on the ball. Like I said, she loves the violence. Of that girl. <laughs> <laughs> What's the worst? Oh! <laughs> Mihal! <Did we> catch. <laughs> no. Oh, lovely passing from Wells in under seconds. Lydia finding space. Oh, Eamon fumbles the bludger! Oh, 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 no! Oh, Eamon will be devastated with that. Let's go, Rosie! Oh, unlucky Humphreys, good effort. Fumble of the bludger created that opportunity. Cloudy on the pitch, already looking exciting. Look at that lovely right footed step. Score is a score. Oh, score is 110 to 20. Nick Olsen is still doing a stellar job of defensively seeking, but you wonder whether. I mean, I'm no advocate for cold catching, but um, oh, you know, they they could turn it around. Who knows? Lovely block from Michal. He does just have a lot of height on that um, tornado's keeper. Lydia Corder eyeing up her options. Oh, 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 oh! That was a bit scrappy. Behind. Good hit from Claudio, but Lydia Corder gets uh, away. Morgan beats. Morgan beats. Oh, Tornado's pick it up. Oh! It's loose. And back Beater's with Corder. Down. Somehow, how did that happen? <laughs> Beater's doing well, probably. It's a bit of a fumble forward from Tornado. Well, always Beater's need to get up on the game. Oh. Quickly take out the Seeker. Morgan on ball. Go on, Morgan. It's only Eamon in the way. <laughs> He'll, there we go. To, oh, to Calder. Oh. oh, and it's Tornado's have it. And beat is clear enough. Oh, some alone time with the snitch, but oh, yeah. not making Eamon. much Eamon, headway. Eamon grasping the crotch of Armitage. Through the legs, extra points for that. I would like to clarify to any new listeners, there are not extra points for that. Just brownie points. <laughs> don't know what brownie camp you went to. <laughs> oh, Thomas oh. Dutton with a really fake drop. Off the boundary, way off. <laughs> oh. oh, that's fruity. Oh, we had some interesting reffing there. Blimey. I mean, the uh, sister refs are giving up on, on refereeing this game. <laughs> I mean, if the head ref doesn't listen to you, then what can you do? Oh, it, it was really close for a while. Who needs refs in Quidditch, really? It should be self refs, like in Frisbee. Yeah. yeah, I mean, if the Raptors Sheffield game did come about, like, self ref that. <laughs> Calder on the ball, is anyone in front of her? Claudio's in front of her. But Morgan's there. Oh, what a step from Calder! Oh, she just needed to draw. She just needed to draw that last bludger in, and that would have been class. I mean, she's sidestepping as I feel. Nothing. Like, she barely slowed down. Lydia, yeah. Oh, going for the snitch. Gunning for it. He did a Oh, not quite. Lydia. Score is 110 to 20. Still good. Yeah. Tornado's on the ball. Good beat, and Tornado's back with control. Thomas Dutton on the ball. Okay, so Thomas Dutton and Claudio both on the ball now, but Claudio not in space, just kind of pushing off his marker. I'm not really sure what he's doing. I mean, like, if you're going to mark the player, Claudio's one to do it with. 
Oh, now Thomas Dutton going through. Good, Johnny. Well played, oh, Thomas Dutton. went for a long beat. <laughs> Missed it. All three goals from Tornado's T Dutts. So it's eight down now. It's no longer the Max QPD. Quidditch point difference. Yeah, what, what is Max QPD? Quidditch point difference. Uh, so basically, um, it's like the maximum number of points that you can win by in terms of uh, the rankings. So like if... Uh, ooh, oh, was it in? It's not big. And at this... Oh, Claudio. Claudio. Oh. Tornadoes with two quick goals. Is the comeback on? Hopefully, yeah. Maybe this Claudio Dutton combination is working out. And Lydia Calder off, replaced by Kevin Liu. Michal on to snitch, on to seek even. And now Michal is double the size of Nicole Stone. Is that going to be an advantage? It probably is. But Nico is still doing very well. Oh, no. Wells back with control now. <laughs> Snuck up on Eamon there. Oh, Alex passing. Oh, go, go. There's a driver on his driver. Oh, no. Oh, that is unfortunate. Uh, we lost a hoop. Oh, go on, Mikhail. Oh, oh. oh. woo hoo -hoo. some fingers on that one. Mihal! Oh. Look at him go, pirouetting like a beautiful Polish ballerina. <laughs> go on, e Mikhail, we trust. Oh, Thomas Dutton on the ball again. Danger, danger. Oh, and drum pass. And pass again. Back to the keeper who's delivered a beautiful ball to Hawkins who just can't hold it. That was a lovely pass from the keeper. He's been very good this game. Go on, Go on, Sophie. Go on. Patrick Gray on the pitch. If in doubt, bring on the style man. Go on, go on, Michael. Go on, Michael. Oh, it's second handicap now. Oh, Seeker's back in the way again. Oh, take it out the Seeker. The chasing game. You've got some alone time again. Woo! Oh, lovely stepping from Kevin Liu. And a nice ball out to Patrick oh, Gray, who's Patrick beat. Uh oh, uh oh, T Dutch, T Dutch, T Dutch. Oh, it's two beaters two on beaters. the wheel side. Okay. Shot could still be on though. Oh, yeah. oh. oh, no. The tornado's beat. He's injured himself oh, no. diving on the floor. Sure uh, I think he's alright. Just a bit of a knock. Just shame. Pure unadulterated shame. Oh. Tornado still have all. it. Bit scrappy there, but they still kept it. I feel like we're sometimes commentating on things that aren't in the camera view, but that's okay. Nah. Filling in the gaps. What? Cameraman, are you following the quaffle or following the snitch? I am following the quaffle. Okay. Like trying to keep it as much in frame as possible. Rika Biazzi coming in to beat Nicole Stone in the face! <laughs> Keep going, Nicole, you got this. That was a bit fruity. Oh, Mihal! Look at the quick feet from Kevin Liu. Ducking and weaving with no support, calling a support. Lovely ball out to Marie. Well played, Marie. Oh, oh Mihal is so close! Come on, Mikhail, do it for your number one fan! <laughs> Look at his broom, the way he holds his broom! Oh, Mikhail's... You got tap in! You got tap in! Oh, yes! <laughs> oh, absolutely, how are we doing? But you don't mount your broom, Mikhail! Oh, so, oh, goodness! No one saw, no one saw! No one saw! No one important saw, right? <laughs> Oh, what a beat right from down. Phil Sam! Oh, Kevin Liu, Kevin Liu! Counters on! Oh, no, 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 not quite. You can't hold the clothes, Claudio! Oh. Kevin Liu, Kevin Liu! Oh! oh. He's won, he's got two on him! Still going! Oh, lovely ball out to Marie! Oh, no, but is there. Patrick Gray on the ball! Lovely ball to Sophie Osborne! No, 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 a little bit wide. Go on, Samuel Instone! Go 
Yes! Oh, Sophie, that's unfortunate. Let's go! Let's go! Push it! Go! Oh, Sam is close! Oh! Oh! Fingers on it again! Keep going, Sam! Fingers on it once again! Oh! Beat your own player! Oh. Yes, Phil Sam! That's all happened there, isn't it? <laughs> Samuel Winstone biding his time like a patient, predatory snake. Lydia Calder streaking up the pitch with a lovely ball out to Patrick Gray. No one in front of him, he steps, he scores! They take both of them to the side. That is a beautiful combo. Calder and the style man. Get that to be a sitcom. Oh no! Yes! Samuel Winstone has caught a snitch finally! Oh, damn, I missed that one. Didn't look good. <laughs> Did it look good? I missed it. I, I missed it as well. Oh, we are shit commentators. Absolutely. If that is the end of the game, thank you for being with us. Apologies for our. Um, yeah, for this. <laughs> we love you all. <laughs> That's the game. Final score is. 150 to 40.